Have you ever felt that feeling that time is running out? My heart was pounding out of my chest. I could hear it only in my ears and the crowd was drowning out the sound of my own heartbeat. It was going so loud they were screaming at the top of their lungs because they knew that victory is in their grasp. And I was starting to cry. I was begging the coach, Coach, give me the ball just one more time, please. Just give me the ball one more time. And I kept screaming, Coach, give me the ball. And tears are running down my face. But you can't distinguish the difference between my tears and the raindrops because it's raining so hard that you can't see six feet in front of your face. And time is running out. And I feel like everything's going to fall apart. And I feel like my coach doesn't care and he doesn't believe in me. And I'm losing hope in our future. We've gone undefeated all season long, Coach. Why would you blow it in this? moment and I'm screaming coach give me the ball and I'm watching the clock run out and it does and we lose seven to nothing on a night I barely touched the ball I was heartbroken I looked at my coach and I said coach why didn't you believe in me why didn't you give me the ball now we have to go through last year's state champions to be a champion. We got to face six D1 players to even have a chance. Bring in life coach Lou Tice. The slogan, we believe, begins. And three games later, after beating that crazy team with six D1 players, state champions the year before, we're back in a position where we're going to be champions of the state of Washington. I guess sometimes you just need a coach to help you get from where you are to the place you can't quite see. I want you just for a moment just to share in the comments, if you wouldn't mind, who are some of the biggest impact players that have ever contributed to your success in your life? Maybe it was a coach. Maybe it was a parent. Maybe it was a teacher or a principal. Or maybe it was a boss that mentored you to get to the next level. But by the end of this journey, of this short little episode, I believe that you're going to see why all of us can benefit from a coach. And why we all need a coach to get to the next level. Hey, listen, we all need a coach in life. There's no doubt about it. There's really two things forms of thought as far as getting to the next level. One is the traditional educational route where you go to school K through 12 and then you go to college, you get a college degree and you go from a college degree to getting the best job that you possibly can. Gary Vee and many other experts all agree though, however, if you don't go to the top college, a college degree today is waning on its value and its importance of impact. Now I say that with a heavy heart because for so long, it's been the only out route for people on the inner city to even have a chance. They've taken out of our school's vocational education that would train us for a career that would give us the skills to pay the bills. There's very little apprenticeship left. What is left to us as an option of success is the model given to us through sports called coaching. It's really difficult for a lot of us, though, to embrace the coaching concept because a lot of us only apply the concept of coaching to sports. But the word that I would like to use just for a second of helping you transition in your thinking is the word pilot. See, a pilot is someone who just like a coach is designed to get you from point A to point Z. They're there to help you get from where you are to the next level. Now there's some obstacles that stand in a pilot's way. One of those obstacles is certainly the obstacle of navigation. It's figuring out how to plot a route from point A to point Z and get you there in the safest manner possible in the fastest route possible. Another factor that they have to face is the factor of gravity. Now we know that gravity is always at work in the earth and a pilot, just because he's a pilot, isn't able to make gravity go away. But what a good pilot is able to do is they're able to navigate an airplane through the principle of lift and thrust and get you with enough momentum from point A to the destination that you've set for yourself. And that's really the value of a pilot or a coach is they're there to help you get from where you are 
to a self-determined destination off into your future that is really your job to define. They're there to help you do what is one of my favorite quotes of all time. Write the vision, make it plain, so that he who hears it or she who hears it can read it and run with it. They're there to give you a game plan on how to succeed in this world and how to apply habits on a consistent basis that are going to make that easier and easier along that journey. That's what a good pilot is for. And that's what a good coach is for, is to help empower you overcome obstacles that we're all going to have to face, like gravity, in some cases like systemic racism or poverty, or perhaps you come from a poverty mindset or you come from a mindset of I can't do it, or maybe you come from a mindset where I can make it to this level but no higher. Maybe you come from the mindset that the examples that have been laid for you have all told you that you're gonna fail and not succeed. None of those things are necessarily true. They may be true, but it is dependent fully on you as an individual, how you're going to react and respond to the negative inputs in your life and the positive inputs in your life and how you're going to use a coach to help strengthen you to navigate the waters. I think this is going to be one of the most impactful episodes that you're going to watch here on the Lion Art Institute. And I just want you to comment down below who are coaches that you find so valuable in your life. So I'm going to share with you today 10 areas that a coach can help each and every one of us get from where we are to the next level and really make us our journey a more pleasurable and successful one along the route. One way that a coach can help us get from where we are to the next level, be that as a doctor, as a lawyer, as a musician, as a singer, or as an athlete, is they can help us deal with outside distractions. There's no doubt that one of the things that disrails us from reaching our goals is the distraction of outside sources. I tell people all the time when I'm coaching them, show me your five best friends and I'll see your five next years. Show me the 10 best books that you've read and I'll show you the next decade of your life. What a coach will help you do is to begin to eliminate outside distractions in your life that are hindering you from really embracing all that you can be and all that you can achieve. It's often said this time, this way, what do I pack and what do I leave behind when I pursue a dream? In other words, there's going to be some things and some people that you're going to have to leave in your background if you're going to go from where you are to the place that you want to be. Now, that doesn't mean that you abandon them forever. It doesn't mean that you can't continue to invest in their life. But it, what, what it does mean is that you begin to limit their input in the way that you see yourself, you see the world around you, and you see your future. See, a coach is there to help you remove the distractions from your life. It's crazy, but one of the people that are the biggest distractions in our life are the people that love us the most. They care about us enough to be honest, they say. And that honesty oftentimes isn't based on truth, but it's based on a protect you mentality. See, the people that love us the most, they often want to avoid conflict and pain and failure so they never allow us to really spread our, spread our wings and fly. So a good coach is there to help you eliminate the distractions of outside voices hindering you from hearing the voice on the inside that you've already predetermined is going to be your navigational map to where you want to be. One of my favorite reasons why you need a coach is because a coach helps you focus not so much on an idea but, but, but on a system. Not so much on a skill, but on a system. Not so much on your potential, but on a system. And what they do is they lay out for you the course of what this system can do for you over the long haul. Your success is not measured in sprints. Your success is measured in the marathon. One of my favorite artists of all times is probably hip, uh, Nip Nipsey Hussle. And the reason I love him so much 
is because he introduced to the hip hop community the concept of the marathon. See, this thing isn't a short race. This thing is truly a lifelong marathon. And what you want to do to be successful in whatever your endeavor is, whether it's music, like it was Nipsey Hussle, or whether it's entrepreneurship, or being a business person, in other words, or being a doctor, or being a lawyer, or being an architect, or being a very um, skilled athlete, is you want to be in a system that helps you improve a degree every month of your life. I'm going to reduce that to half a degree. What if you were able to get just 5% better every single year based on the application of skills that you develop within a system? See, a coach is there to help you not only exploit your strengths as an athlete or as a business person, but your coach is there to help you evaluate your progression within a system which points out weaknesses, not only your strengths, and helps you develop overall so that you can achieve beyond your wildest dreams. Okay, half a percent a year. Half a percent a month equals six percent a year, not five percent, but I think you know what I'm talking about. I'm giving you a little bit extra percentage there, um, just in case you underperform. All right, one of the most valuable, no doubt about it, reasons that a coach is so important in your life is because they prepare you for mental warfare. Oh man, this is so valuable. Dominating your own mind is the most important thing that you can ever do to be successful. See, a good coach, where they're going to help you understand that the ship doesn't end up at the bottom of the sea because of the waters on the outside. A ship only ends up at the bottom of the sea because of the water on the inside. What you have to understand, if you're going to understand a coach's perspective in helping you improve, is that the coach is there to help you become mentally strong enough to take this journey. It isn't easy when you're facing adversity to keep on enduring. But if you're going to see success over the long haul, you're going to have to learn how to endure through difficult times, which is going to give you the best opportunity over the long haul to be successful. Listen, my friend, this life is not all roses and sunshine. And you know that. So for you to become adapted to the next level, you're going to have to go through a tremendous amount of internal dissonance. It's being outside of your comfort zone that creates that dissonance. And the only way that you can get to the next level is by getting outside your comfort zone. That process of breaking you down and building you up, breaking you down and building you up, that process of mentally engaging a very difficult thing that you never thought you were going to be able to achieve and then achieving it and then moving your, high, your goal higher is the process of which, by which the pilot or the coach is going to get you ultimately to the destination that you want to get, get to. So a coach is extremely valuable because they help you go through mental warfare with yourself to evaluate your strengths and your weaknesses to develop your, your game plan to get you to the next level. Coaches in your life are going to help you get real. A.K.A. get real or die. A coach is going to help you mature perspective in your life. Having a good coach is almost like having an outer body experience. They're able to look at your performance, look at the way that you attack a problem, perceive it from an external viewpoint, and then give their recommendations for improvement. That coach, in doing that, really becomes a set of eyes that are external from your experience. They try not to be too engaged, not too excited, not too emotional, not get caught up in all the energy of the moment, but by perceiving it from a different perspective, they're able to help you develop, even in your greatest moments, areas that you can mature so that you're ready for the next level in your life. And believe me, there's a saying, new level, new devil. In other words, every level you climb, there's gonna be new challenges, new difficulties, new ways that you're going to have to process the environment. You're going to have to process 
your own internal strengths and weaknesses, and you're going to have to adjust your game to be comfortable at that level. If you're a doctor or a lawyer, whether you're a counselor or whatever your profession is, as you begin to go into greater and greater responsibility, higher and higher demands, you're going to need that perspective of a coach that is just a few feet ahead of you telling you what corners you're going to be facing. It's kind of like going 100 miles an hour down a freeway. Those signs are valuable so that you can anticipate the turns and the curves and the elevation changes that are ahead. A coach has a great purpose in your life when that coach is able to help you begin to see your life not only as a destination, but as a journey. It doesn't matter today whether you're starting off your first job or whether you're in middle management. That coach is there to help you evaluate the process as a journey. When you begin to climb the ladder, as, as, as it would be said, you begin to need different skills at different levels. And so that coach is able, through their experiences, through their study, through their analysis of where you want to get to, able to help you embrace the next level before you're there. I always encourage new hired employees to begin as they come into any work environment, begin to learn the job of the person two positions ahead of you. And so a good coach is going to prepare you to be ready to do the job, not only of your boss, but of their boss. And in equipping you that way, whatever area you may be in, they are preparing you not only for a moment, but for a journey. And as you prepare for the journey, your skills will develop far beyond where you are. That will become evident to all those around you. And the good thing is, is when your moment prepare presents itself because you have prepared you'll be ready for that new level the way that I've embraced the coaches greatly in my life has been dealing with fear we all have a common understanding of fear that fear is oftentimes false expectations appearing real but it's very difficult when you've begun to develop an expectation in your life to overcome that expectation on your own so a quality coach is there to help you embrace that expectation, face that expectation, deal with the conflict and the dissidence that you feel internally, and overcome that expectation by the transition of comfort zones. See, comfort zones are there to imprison you to your own expectations. It's not so much the expectations of other people, although those expectations can be very limiting and bind you for many different reasons where you are. But it's really how do you respond to those expectations that determines where you're going to end up in life. I teach um, all of my clients and I teach um, whether they're my children or my co-workers or whether they're my true coaching clients. I teach those individuals that you're not stuck with the result of your moment. You're stuck with the result of your response to that moment. You're going to have a bunch of different experiences throughout your lifetime. Some of them positive, some of them extremely negative. It's not so much the experience that matters over the long haul. What really matters is how do you respond to those events that determines the outcome of your life. And a quality coach is going to help you begin to de develop and understanding that your expectations are not always right, that you can change your expectation by developing new skills, new attitudes, new beliefs, and that new expectation is going to lead to new results. For a long time, they thought that it was physically impossible to run a four-minute mile. There were scientists and doctors that thought that if a person ran a four-minute mile, their head would literally expose, explode. And for years and years and years, the human species, or us as people, were limited to four minutes and at least one second, or our brains would explode. Well now, high school students have run a four minute mile. Why? Because the first person that broke that barrier 
change the expectation. Now we know what we can expect is going to happen or what we're able to achieve with the right amount of effort, work ethic, and especially coaching in our life to prepare us to do exceedingly abundantly above what we think we're usually able to do. One of the things that is necessary for you to improve your performance is to eat the frog. Now a good coach, what they're going to do is they're going to teach you and train you to, to not only do just that, but they're going to teach you and train you how to embrace and love that. See, it's never comfortable to eat the frog. And when we talk about eating the frog, we're talking about doing the thing that you don't want to do, that you dislike doing, that you feel uncomfortable with, but it's so important for you to develop success in that area so that you can reach your full potential. A coach is not going to put up with the same excuses that you've developed. I'm tired. I worked out hard yesterday. Let me give myself a break today. No, a coach isn't going to buy into the same excuses that you buy into. But they're going to help you develop a mindset to eat the frog every day. Do the difficult thing and do it quickly. Get it out of the way so you can do the things that you really enjoy and love because that's going to help you live a life that thrives. See, the things that we don't enjoy are often the springboard to the life that we will enjoy. Reflecting back, and this is probably my favorite point of why a coach is so valuable, is because a coach is going to help you through all of the chaos, focus your mind on the one voice that's going to help you navigate troubled waters. See, we're all going to run into difficult times. We're all, all going to experience challenges that are bigger than us, more challenging than us, and we feel like are going to defeat us. And sometimes the terrible truth is we're going to fail. But failing forward is really what we're looking for, that old John Maxwell saying. We want to be able to fail falling forward, moving in the right direction. And a coach's voice is extremely valuable in that because it becomes like a navigational system in troubled and difficult times. See, in that experience, when I was crying and tears were running down my face and I thought that my opportunity to succeed was over, my coach had a bigger picture and he was able to be a voice of calm in the craziness of the chaos of that moment. He was able to help me be convinced that if I would keep my faith, I would hold my integrity, my internal strength, that great things were still possible for me in the future. And so in that moment when my tears were running down my face and I was begging him to give me the ball, and I was begging him to do all these adjustments so that we had a chance to win, he already had the right winning mindset. He just had to get me to come along with it. As a result of me trusting him and tr being able to trust my coach, all of a sudden, three games later, the head coach of the University of Washington was in the stands because we beat the best team in state history, and he wanted to see the football team that did it. It had always been a lifelong dream that I would play for the University of Washington, and here I was playing in front of one of my heroes, Don James, because my coach taught me to focus in the chaos, to hear the direction that was the right direction, and keep moving forward. And that's one of the reasons why a coach is so extremely valuable to you in the world that we live in, is because a good coach is going to teach you, you can trust my voice, hear my voice, move in the direction of my voice, even when it seems like it isn't going in the right direction. Just trust me keep moving forward and by moving forward you're going to find yourself in a successful place it's kind of like trusting that pilot along the journey there's going to be times when you go through turbulence they're there to help you calm the storm don't worry the plane is on autopilot we're going to get to where we need to be just trust the pilot to perform at a high level a coach is there not to just get you to practice practice we're talking about practice yeah, we're talking about practice. We're not, a coach is there not to just get you to practice, but to get you to practice at a high level. Some people believe that practice makes perfect, and that's simply not true, unfortunately. Perfect practice makes perfect. So you need a coach there to help you evaluate your performance to the smallest degree 
so that you can perform at a higher level on the back end because you practice at a much higher level on this end. Everybody wants to be a success and everybody wants to achieve amazing dreams. But very few people want to do the small work that it takes to get there. The small work is the work that doesn't get glory. The small work is the work that doesn't get celebrated. But trust me and trust your coach. It's the small attention to details that's going to make you a success. And that's one of the reasons why a coach is so important in your life is because they're going to pay attention to the smallest of minute details to help you accelerate your performance to the next level, whether you're an entry level employee, whether you're mid management, or maybe you even own the company, you can get to the next level by trusting your coach to analyze every detail of your conduct, your performance, your character, let them tear it all apart so that you can build it back together. I don't know which point has been your favorite so far. Uh, please do share and comment down below which point you got the most value from. But this is one of the most valuable points that you're ever going to conceive about in either being a coach for people or using a coach in your life. And that is the coach's network. See, for me, one of the most important things that I ever did was I was smart enough in my sports endeavors not to look at the color of the uniform, not to see if they had a cool looking mascot, not to see if the stands were full every uh, game. But the most important thing to me was the quality of the coach. You say, Richard, why is that so important? Because if you have the right coach, the stands will be full every Saturday. You'll have an opportunity to go to the next level. There'll be plenty of other coaches there to evaluate you to get to the next level. If you do great at your job where you are now, there'll be plenty of employers that want you to get a job at their company. What you have to do is you have to take advantage of the greatest coaches in this on this planet sometimes by investing in them sometimes by making sacrifices and orientating yourself to their company rather than taking taking the higher position at first because a step back can be a step up when you use the coach's network to improve you see for me i had the great fortune of having a hall of fame high school coach i had the great fortune of having a second hall of fame coach when my coach became um, an athletic director in our district. I was smart in the process of deciding what coach I would let speak into my life. And you're going to make the best decisions when you evaluate great coaches. As I made, moved on to the University of Washington, I discovered that my coach, my head coach, hired Nick Saban. He hired the future coach of the University of Washington, Jim Lambright. He trained him as his de defensive coordinator. I went on to play in the, for, for uh, Al Levan, both at the University of Washington and the Baltimore Ravens, who had coached guys like Tony Dorsett, Herschel Walker. He had coached Roger Craig. See, the important thing about a great coach is his network. How is he going to prepare you for the next level? How is she going to prepare you for the next level? So right now, you may have an entry-level job. But the most important thing is not to focus on where you are, but who's the leadership in your life helping you get to the next level? Because I can, but I can, because I can assure you right now that I would rather have a lion leading an army of sheep than a sheep leading a lion, uh, an army of lions. What do I mean by that? I need to have the right person in the right position with the right mindset. And a coach is going to help you develop that so that you can become a leader of men. No matter where you are today, you can mature yourself into greatness by allowing the skills, the experiences, and the background of your coach get you to the next level. I was fortunate enough, even when I made it to the NFL, to have Ted Marcherata as my head coach, who happened to hire maybe one of the greatest coaches of all time, Bill Belichick. See, the network that you're in is so very valuable because it will determine how far you can often go. So excited that you've been a part of this, this episode of the Lionheart Institute. I hope that it's been an encouragement to you. Please do comment down below which was your favorite point as far as a coach. If you need some help in finding a coach, just reach out. 
and uh, we'll, we'll talk about the process and how very valuable it can be to you. There's a ton of coaches out there ready to empower you, um, and it's important that you find the right one. God bless you, and thank you for tuning in today. Please do like, share, and comment. It's important. <laughs>